even though salman sir after i got evicted and i so told her that you know i have the power to pull the plug and get you out of it the same way that i got you in but i i just felt that it was very very wrong because somewhere you're not letting the audience uh, know the truth of both sides if i had to target him despite that i wouldn't have let him know in the first task that i know yeah. about it. and i would have uh, uh, blasted it in front of everyone and then we would have seen how it would have turned out true he wouldn't have had the time to cushion him or do any of that did it make you feel um, helpless it did i was helpless i was hurt very very deeply and for the family as well because like i said earlier my parents you know how the parents are and when we had conceived they were just really happy about it yeah and when the miscarriage happened so they suddenly uh, my mom especially took her to the heart took it to the to her heart and she became very sad and emotionally low and we both were me and gunjan also became very very emotionally low and we were very sad and when this is blown out of proportion on the national television and you're cursed with it and uh, you don't know whether dealing with her and giving her back is more important or should i be worried about my parents so i chose to be worried about my parents and not to give importance to the crap that she did you know another week another eviction unfair for me i don't know i've read i've been reading comments which also say the same on twitter and on any other social media vikas manakala joins me for a conversation only on bollywood bubble there's so much to discuss and i have so much to ask you first of all how does it feel getting back coming out of the house do you feel good do you feel bad i uh, yaar jab main uh, the day i i was shooting till 5 in the morning and i got out and that's the first time, first time i sat in the car after like 21 22 days and i was just looking like a kid who's seen who's come to a big town like for the first time and i was looking at the buildings i was looking at the i was just i kind of had my head out of the window and i was just enjoying the breeze i was looking at the roads that were lit up and uh, like a like a child like a baby like excitement and enthusiasm and it was very nice so it took me time I, i'm still detoxing with my phone i don't have it people have a different perception of you you know when i had watched you as huda i had a very different perception i felt like you're a um, you are like huda but when i saw you on the show in the beginning um i felt you have a very different vibe which is um which is like you know people can really be intimidated in your presence is it has have has anybody ever told you this so you know i i had i never used to be too expressive i would always let things bottle up and keep to myself uh but it had a really uh downside to it because people would exploit that silence and uh, call me are again call me things and i it didn't matter to me because at least my emotions were not getting exploited and i was not getting hurt in the bargain but i i always be i'm in my space i'm always thinking about how to better myself as an artist or some shayari or some things that excite me and the energy and uh, so ha so i speak less i used to speak less that is also one of the reason that i actually chose to go to big boss that i am very shy and introvert and i have to come out of that shyness and introvertedness and i have to experience being social and i have to experience being extroverted and you know i should speak my truth out with honesty and uh, that's that but yes people because i am in my zone and i'm always thinking so people have called me arrogant and uh, difficult to approach but whoever comes to approach me i'm always embracing them and with a hug and a handshake and a smile you know you have a you have an aura which is definitely there like there is an aura where you are there and everybody can feel your presence we felt that on the first day when you entered big boss you know i don't think there has been a more dhamakedar um wild card entry because when wild cards come they take some time to like gauge the situation and then settle in they you came and you were given a task and you were like bang on you were like this is this this is this this is this this is this and you didn't shy away from name calling also do you think did you think that that could have worked against you in the beginning only because you came when i was going into the house and people are asking me that as a wild card what is your strategy i said my strategy is to not have any strategy you know yeah. i would be closing my mind to connect with everyone inside if i go with a judgmental mind so i wanted to be really open i wanted to be really uh connecting with everyone take it how is it good bad ugly let's just see how it comes and you know flow with it
but you actually made friends with Charlene. Although on the first day when you called him, whatever you called him, he got a little ticked off. But then I think you guys became like brothers. But there are two people who actually took it to heart and didn't let it go. Like it's on their chest even till now. It's Sajid Khan and Abdu. Yeah, you call one yeah. fake and you call the other person who doesn't understand the game. Yeah, so he asked me, why did you call me fake? And I told him, so because you're always dominating. You know, you and you don't stand up, you don't say the truth on the face. You're always manipulating, you're always not standing up. If you feel, don't be harsh, don't be loud, don't be aggressive. Yeah. But you can always speak your truth with respect or with just calmness. If you don't want to respect them. And it took, so even in the task that happened and the first task of the captaincy, where he wanted to go as the last, I was rooting for him even though I called him. I said, please go. I would trust you more because you see more just than the other, than Nimrat. I said, go, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go, but you go. And then he stood by because Nimrat screamed and all that. I said, what kind of a mandli and dosti this is, bro. <laughs> On the face, you guys are saying we love him and respect him and we follow what he says. And then when it comes to the task, you, you don't care about what the other person has to go. And you I told know, him, I, I said, somehow... stand. I said, why don't you stand tall and speak and go for it. We are there to support you. And then he told me later on. Anyway, well, so, you know, I, to be honest, uh, everyone's there to play a game. It's, it is a game. Everyone's playing the uh, game with their understanding and however they want to or however uh, their mind works. Uh, but I think uh, for me, I would still, I, despite the fact that Sajuji is a mastermind and he manipulates and so on, I still respect him. I'll tell you why. There is still a line of respect that he maintains in his conduct. True, I agree. You know, and whether it is good, bad, ugly, even if he's standing with his uh, so-called friends, which he knows that would eventually betray him, or maybe he also has the same in his mind. But if, or if it's a strategy to go ahead uh, holding each other's hands, they are. He's still doing it with 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 respect and dignity, and I really like that in a person. Even though he was manipulating and he was being fake to an extent, which I think a lot of people are. But I still like that in a man, in a person, you know, so we understand, all of us understand that it is a game. Whereas outside people get too personal about it and trust you me, even the contestants also do, but not so much. They understand, they keep it in their head and they get to know the real face of the person who is doing what. But that's that. It just helps them in understanding the game. That's about it. Because I'm sure at the end of the uh, season, a lot of us would be getting together and parting together. Are you, who are you going to party with? Ankit and Priyanka for sure. And I think Tina, uh, also for sure Tina. And uh, maybe Sajiji is also there. And if he's interested, then of course. We, in fact, when I was getting evicted, he said, we have to meet out. I said, done. For sure. So, uh, besides the game, it's, that's absolutely fine. Not Charlene? Uh, Charlene, if he's, if he's not too confused in what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so funny, uh, you know, I would say to Gadai. Yeah, I have seen that. And he, first he got a shocker. He said, You're a shock. He said, You're a shock. So after a point of time, he said, I'm a shock. I'm a shock. I don't know if he was shown. And we all exactly. laughed so hysterically. But uh, see, in, in case of Charlene, because we've uh, shared some good time together, he is he's somewhere a good person. But maybe, I don't know if the game is doing that to him or he's like that in person. There are a lot of faces and masks that he wears. So he's constantly shuffling between them. Yeah. And you know, and because of so much of shuffling, he's always confused. He doesn't know which mask is he wearing at what point in time. And he forgets. What did he say? And suddenly he's like that. And in the morning, suddenly he'll be like that. In the afternoon, even before that for that matter, in maybe an hour or so. And then he'll be like that again in an hour. So you don't know. And then, but you know, to me, I, thought, I really hold people... Uh, with a lot of respect when they do certain deeds that I am a person, I always ask people before I eat. If whoever is around me, I would always offer. This is how we are brought up. And we Punjabis love to feed. We are But, uh, you know, and uh, so I really like that he, despite the issues of his chicken, which was made throughout, he did, uh, you know, come and share it with me told me to take it easy and told me that I, he would take care of it and after that he made that issue that's the same thing that you don't know what to do but you didn't say that you didn't do it but anyway 
yeah. but whatever he did i i was very thankful and that's why I, you know had a connect with him. but the one person who you didn't connect with at all was shiv yes. from the very beginning and we could see that you no, know the you know i happening. in fact to be honest even though i knew about what he had done it was not a baggage that i had carried when i went in i told nimrit and shiv, uh, shiv that you know you are one of my favorite players i would go and say hello to him whenever i meet and if he reciprocates then we'll probably party together too i have this question that you know when you came and spoke about the whole archana shiv incident you were actually not wrong ji it has actually happened Correct. and uh, uh, sorry but even i have not watched the entire marathi big boss season doesn't mean that i cannot have opinions on the same right so i felt like people trying to tell you or big boss asking you 30 other questions about marathi big boss so they were lemon to what to show the... that you know uh, he doesn't know anything correct sirf ye inhone dimag mein bana ke aaye hain i felt that it was wrong because eventually jab wo incident hua you may not have been planning to go inside also but it was out in correct. the open like correct normal people were correct. talking about it normal people were not watching the same contestant had happened the same contestant had happened to had interviews. interviews and he was abusing him yeah. and calling him shit stuff and all of that so जिसने बोला है उसके बारे में उसके साथ खेला है वो सच बोल रहा है मैंने तो फिर भी उसको प्रीमेडिटेट करके नहीं किया इफ आई दैट्स व्हाट आई सेड इफ आई हैड टू टारगेट हिम डिस्पाइट दैट आई वुडंट हैव लेट हिम नो इन द फर्स्ट टास्क दैट आई नो अबाउट इट यू नो एंड आई वुड हैव ब्लास्टेड इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीवन एंड देन यू वुड हैव सीन हाउ इट वुड हैव टर्नड आउट ट्रू ही वुडंट हैव हैड द टाइम टू क्वेश्चन हिम और डू एनी ऑफ दैट and he got to know he was very smart he planned and all of that did the drama also just a episode before that salman sir also said you don't have to worry about it is me and a big boss who can you know uh, take care of it and do any of the things that you you know said so i understood but like i said even then i did not have it in my mind to go and target him but the say, the very next day when the day it happened he tried to target me yeah and then i saw another same because wo submissive kab tak khelta you know wo sweet ban ke usko pata hi tha when he realized that he is kind of covered himself and sheltered himself with other people's support chahe wo sajid ji hai ye hai wo hai now he can uh, play a game and even though he it didn't talk that in front of me i could really gauge that thankfully and you know i could see that in him and then i called a spade a spade when i felt like but do you think that the work against you do you, did you feel bad when the entire thing was brought out in a way which was made out to be against you like correct. you were made out to be a villain correct suddenly. correct so i'll tell you one thing honestly in my life what is in my hand to be able to do my bit i did my bit with a uh, utmost amount of honesty and certainty and integrity and respect yeah. i didn't dis- i didn't insult him i didn't disrespect him i called out his uh, mischief yeah but that also i did it very respectfully You said facts. Ah, so, so I stated facts, but not in a way that you know, uh, which could have insulted yeah. him or do any of that. If I, if I had to, I understand you say whatever you want to say, kind of falling prey to the drama and the crap. Yeah. But I didn't. I I maintained my dignity for myself and for him also. And I just said that this is what he is, and he does it. But that also, this is what I feel. You continue to do whatever you want to do. You know, however you want to approach, or if you do want to forget about it also. But I just felt that that I should share this. You shared it with Archana, Correct. you know. Um, initially, of course, a lot of people actually loved how you imitated her. I too feel that that's bang on imitation of Archana. You do Archana better than Archana sometimes. It's 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 crazy. Uh, and uh, I think there should be a show where you both come together and you guys just imitate both of your Archana. It should be. It should be. I think. I I think colors. I don't want to uh, take away that identity that I have. No, no, I don't no, want. No. I don't want to take footage from her in her own words. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it actually started off as a joke yeah, because uh, her voice is very funny, and I, I connect. It's not only her. It is. There have been so many people that I have met in my life whom I found very funny, and their voice is really funny, and you know, and unique. and i have imitated them also but what i have how i do is i uh, interact with them in their voice so that's how it started i was in the room with archana we were talking and i started giving back to her in our voice and we started laughing about it suddenly in the weekend of the war salman sir said now because let's see archana and are hai are and then it suddenly started and it, from there on it became an archana it was hilarious yeah so yeah but you there was a point you were genuinely standing by her you know when you informed her about uh, shiv thing also and she brought it up that how it was unfair on her so 
you were trying to stand by her then you actually mm. shared something which is extremely personal and emotional towards you to you and your family correct are uh, with her then she used it against correct you, you know that's what i keep saying when i was telling you that there are times when i feel bad for archana and then she immediately do something which is so horrible that you lose all that respect and the mm, little bit of emotion that you mm. feel for her how did you take it what actually happened what actually happened so the same scenario had turned out which i shared earlier that you know in a, in good faith and in just connecting or having a heart to heart conversation i just and she asked about me my marriage and why uh, we haven't really thought of planning as else we had not really planned but we had conceived and there was a miscarriage that happened and all of that and uh, I and I just said it because it came as a matter of fact with the thought that you know maybe I can trust her yeah. humane side or maybe there is a human side to True. her and but then when later on she jo- not only exploited that she cursed me with it and that's when I realized yaar ye she doesn't have a human side to her but you know at that point um because um we all felt for you you know we all felt for you and the family because there have been so many conversations like i sometimes speak to these women who come and speak about the trials and tribulations that they have gone through in life and it's not a only women even men hmm. you know but especially when it comes to miscarriages it happens with women and it affects them deeply i know Correct. of lot of people in my family also have gone through it and it affects them so hmm. deeply that there is a change or a shift in their mental well being correct and it gets somewhere it can or it could get triggered and that past memory can trigger out a lot of other emotions True. which is again sad right and when you are locked up in a house like this did it make you feel um helpless it did i was i was helpless i was hurt very very deeply because the same thing triggered something in me which i had suppressed you know the sadness and uh it was a very emotionally low phase for me and my wife and for the family as well because like i said earlier my parents you know how the parents are and when we had conceived they were just really happy about it yeah and when the miscarriage happened so they suddenly uh my mom especially took her to the heart took it to the to her heart and she became very sad and emotionally low and we both were me and gunjan also became very very emotionally low and we were very sad and uh, so many people told us to you know uh, think about it another or maybe just try but the doctor said that you know after miscarriage you should actually let the woman recover and so on and all of those things we did which is besides the fact but the thing was that emotionally it was extremely uh, testing for us and especially my parents and when you are in the house isolated and you're in- bound and you do not have an access to it you can't even speak to them and put them at yeah. ease and when this is blown out of proportion on the national television and you're cursed with it and uh, you don't know whether dealing with her and giving her back is more important or should i be worried about my parents so i chose to be worried about my parents and not to give importance to the crap that she did you know and i realized that this is her level i cannot stoop down to her level and this is not dignified i cannot be doing giving it back to her and then justify because you said so yeah. i that's not me I don't do that, and so I chose to be, you know, deal it with dignity for myself and I try to keep it for her. I think maybe that's what really let people uh, connect with the honesty toward that I had towards dealing with it. But my only concern was that you know my parents don't get affected by it. You came back. Did you have a word with them? How did your family react to it? How did your wife and uh, how did your parents? So it reached them eventually, but thankfully it didn't reach them all of a sudden because my. uh sisters didn't let them see the that episode and they figured out and all of that they'd yeah. seen it earlier and uh, so thankfully that it did try to protect it but uh that also so because you know how the it is it somehow reached them in their you know corner to their ears from different corners but uh, i think my mama still doesn't really know about it completely but my father does and i I don't know. I just I'm just waiting that when I go to Delhi, I just meet them and give them a big hug, and they know that it's all going to be fine. You know uh, what happens most of the times is when you have a tough exterior, you're always trying to shield a very very soft interior. Like you're trying to like 
show the world that you are not really weak internally yeah. and internally we all can be weak there are moments where True. we are all weak how do you deal with that are you that person who always tries to put a guard up to not let anybody see through the emotions yeah so you know i'm i'm a guy who's uh always been exploited in his friendships because of i don't know yaar main jaise bhoda tha na ki wo dil asli apne kandhe pe rakh ke chalna aur wear your heart in your sleeves i've always been like that you speak the truth with what it is but unfortunately people never believe that has truth they always believe yaar itna sachcha to nahi ho sakta kuch to problem hai that's the problem with that's the problem with the society but it's never it's not let me change it i wouldn't change myself but what i have done is i've tra- i started uh i stopped expressing to people and i think that was my defense mechanism and for a very long time i i would be choked up here but i would not cry and it went on for very long and i uh, went into a, a zone i went into depression i had my difficult times that i had to deal with many things but i wouldn't be able to express because people would just exploit that as weakness and would on the face would be your best friends and behind your back would have an agenda and then uh, i think gunjan is really instrumental in bringing about my emotional side to the forefront and she said that's okay and i think I'm, i hold her in really high regards for that and uh, then i this is also so for me to be able to share with her and deal with it was a very big deal because i wouldn't otherwise i would not speak about my life or my uh, or concern with anybody forget about that meeting somebody for some time and doing that so i could be stupid and volatile i trust people too quickly and i think that's what i did with archana you said that there was a point of time that you battled a lot of hardships in your life that you battled depression was it before the mishap happened to you and your wife or was it after no no much before much before much before um, but did See, that i was incident... emotionally sad very very low after that happened uh, but the duration of the sadness and depression wasn't as long as we do it because we were together to in dealing with it you know we somehow were broken in many parts but we knew that in even those broken parts we should be holding each other's hands yeah you know so even though it became difficult for some point of time for whatever reason you hear so many other things and you how you feel and physically uh, women is changing and you know uh, there are many things that you don't even know how why you're reacting in a way you are but i think uh, we somehow overcame that together i think it's it's quite great quite amazing you also said that sometimes you know when it reaches you you really don't what you bottle it up and you don't really show it did that ever happen inside the house yeah okay so so before i went to the house i have always been connected to like i said to my family i would video call them and call them every day my mom my dad my sisters my nephew niece and then we i have to that's how my day goes no matter where i am where i'm shooting you're dropping a message or whatever is always do, uh, our way of staying connected yeah. so for me i remember it was i think it had been 10 to 12 days in the house when those letters started to come and i was just hoping and i knew in my gut that because i had been there only for like almost two weeks and i wouldn't be getting the letter but i was just hoping that you know i get the letter and i am able to do that and i even just listening to the other uh, contestants letter i was just really welled up here and i was i just kept controlling my i was choking in my throat and uh, yeah that was the time that i did i think it was also because when archana's episode happened and i went in my space for some time and i was just really worried about how my parents would be reacting and uh, that is also the time that i wish that i could hug them in the weekend kavar the um weekend that you got evicted when this issue was brought up um archana was spoken to personally correct whereas uh, when you have spoken about um her her education mm. that was brought out in front of everybody i'm not saying that that's right i'm not so, you saying know, that, that what you also, said was that, right so you know that was also that's blown out of proportion again doing that is 
like there has the rules should be similar for Correct. everybody is what Correct. I believe. Correct. Like if you've done something wrong and it's getting pulled up in front of everybody, then the same should happen to Archana. Correct. Did you feel that that it was a little unfair yes. on everybody's part? Yes, completely unfair and biased. I thought she was being cushioned and not reprimanded as she should have been. Even though Salman sir, after I got evicted and I saw told her that you know I have the power to pull the plug and get you out of it the same way that I got you in. But I, I just felt that it was very, very wrong because somewhere you're not letting the audience uh, know the truth of both sides. Somewhere you're hiding and you're masquerading that because you it's the real truth is not coming out. Even the case of Shiv for that matter. So I was not allowed to speak my truth. And uh, I even, you know, uh, when minor Archana issue happened with that Anpad one, I told her that Bhattamis, and I also said that, you know, Anpad does not mean that many Anpad people are very good. So it is not to do with education when somebody said that about it. I think Sundar said, I said, but it is not to do with education. I know so many uneducated people who are so respectful and True. dignified. But it's just about having, not only that, you, should, you know, see the language that she speaks. You, should have, you have to hear so many things are peeped out and not shown. Because it's it, uh, a channel which has the on the GC you are not allowed to, but it's 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 pure crass. Who do you think um, would be your top three? If you had to pick top three, who would those be, and who do you think has the highest chances of winning the show? This I time? think Priyanka does. Yeah, yeah, I love Priyanka. I, <laughs> I love get buzzed out every day on Twitter for yeah. supporting Priyanka by every other fan club except Priyanka and Ankit. And no, everybody is bajawing me you know, for a lot no of people reason. Are, I, like, I was targeted from the very first week. I was targeted the moment I entered. Maybe when you oh, say yes. that I have the strong personality which is intimidating. And maybe it intimidated everyone. I told you <laughs> and the, the task that you did, I yeah. feel that everybody went like, uh, oh. who just entered and what just happened? Because you kind of ruffled a lot of feathers. And then everybody was trying to take it against you in different tasks. So Stan took out in that. Patta wala correct, task correct, and then Abdu correct. took it out on you till the very end. Yeah, but you know, unfortunately... Abdu is misunderstanding was it. was misunderstood because yeah. Salman sir was joking about it and he has a language barrier. He doesn't understand yeah. a lot of the language. And so he took it. Nain, jo... Salman sir ka hai, to wo sahi hai. You are lying. I'm like, yaar. Achha, hai. I still like you. I would still, uh, you know, be there for you. Yeah. But uh, that's that. So who apart from Priyanka do you see in top three? I would like Abdu to be there, to be honest, despite the fact that he's misunderstood me and there, whatever the concerns and he's nominated me twice and whatsoever, I would really like for him to uh, be there because I feel he has a good heart and he's maintained that. I think, but I think in the coming uh, few days, last few days, I've, I'm seeing that he's realizing the game much better than he was earlier, you know, and I think it's good. It's going to be nice to see how he plays from here on. But uh, would, given a chance, would you go back in the house? Or would you rather go back for an entire season and not as a wildcard? Yeah, not as a wildcard. Do you think that that backfired on you a little bit? Uh, had you been, I was just discussing with your wife, don't you feel that had you been there from day one, things would have been different? I think 90% of the comments that I've really appreciated have only talked about that I should have been there from the start. And it's quite amazing. I wanted to because there was no point. But, you know, like I said, I wanted to experience. It's being in a big boss house is an experience that you cannot have anywhere else in the world. Yeah. You know, no matter what you do and what you spend whatsoever. But it's an experience that has to happen there. So, I said, okay. And I'm, maybe on a brighter side, I'm pulled out in three weeks. There's still a chance I can go next year. Let's see how that <laughs> yeah. works. I hope they uh, bring you and if they do, they should bring you for an entire season. And uh, Jati Jati, I will just tell you that, um, like you said, that Archana has cursed you and a lot of things have happened. Um, my mother tells me I'm a Bengali. So in Bengali, there's a saying called Shokune Robisha Pe Goru Morena, which means that um, it literally means like uh, vultures, ke shrap se, uh, gai ko kuch nahi hota. Uh, but it genuinely means that unimportant people's curses really never work. And just remember that if one person has given you a gift, then there are millions out there who have prayed for you, for your and your family's well-being. 
and I'm pretty sure that you're going to be an amazing father. Thank you. And uh, you're an amazing human being. Oh, thank um, you. Just stay the same and I hope that there's more power to this breed and hopefully someday this breed may say somebody gets to win Big Boss. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Nayan, for having me. Thank you, everyone. I am Vikas Manakla and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble. Stay tuned, like, share and subscribe. It's an amazing channel. You get a lot of goss on that and stay tuned on it. Maybe we see each other again on the same channel.